Welcome to Winning Battle Royale Tactics for the Disabled. I'm Red Star YT, and I am a 90% disabled veteran, and uh, I have some severe issues with my mobility in my fingers, and uh, I play this game for fun. Uh, but I'm going to show you how I win in Battle Royale with uh, quite a limiting disability to finger dexterity. So... I'm jumping a state. I want to land in the barns on a state, but obviously there are people below me. And so I'm just stalling a little bit here to see where they're going. Okay, they're definitely heading towards the barn. And this guy might make it to the top. So I'm going to go ahead and beat him to high ground. And uh, I'm going to take the high ground first, get a weapon under me, and basically wait for them because they're going to come up here. They always come up here. And so... Uh, slow finger speed and dexterity. Stealth is your primary aggressive weapon. Most people just cloppity cloppity clop and run through the building because they slippity you slide away from everybody. But when you don't really have that dexterity in your fingers, well, how do you win? Well, stealth. You just sneak up on them because you just follow them <laughs> and you just wait for them and then they'll call you a camper even though you heard them the moment they stomped into the building. Uh, but yeah, uh, I suggest using the stealth classes. I use Pumped because its secondary ability is stealth. My other suggestion is always be the hunter. When you see combat, chase after it. And in this situation, I get myself caught between a rock and a hard place. I get third party by someone on this hill, but I, I back up seek cover, armor back up again, and then go back out, because I know there's still another guy out in front of me. And right there he comes down the hill and makes a fatal error. And so my takeaway prize here is these vertical recoil control modules for my AK-47. And always remember the best place to store kinetic armor is on the chest, and uh, always, always, always put one on the chest as soon as you get it. Now here we go. Without the ability to slide, I use the hill for, to my advantage and come around on top of him. Now, a lot of people would just slip slide and engage. Well, if you can't slip slide and engage, use the terrain to your advantage. Uh, case in point, uh, always take the high ground whenever you think you are in a situation where you hurt somebody. Or uh, you know someone's right here on you because, well, I just opened up, made all that noise, and I heard somebody. So I'm looking around for Half him. So I take high ground, right? Because I, there he is. Now, <laughs> this is a calamity of events here. Uh, I engage, right? I didn't throw a grenade, but I forget to switch weapons here. And so I always remember to switch weapons or reload uh, because... Now it's a prolonged fight, which could draw more people closer to you. And you're trying to win with stealth. This is a, this is a very poor example of me taking down somebody. Uh, all because of my failure to switch weapon or reload. So, uh, what I want to say next is, don't be a wallflower. Don't be a wallflower. Go for those boxes, because those boxes contain plates that help you win the game and mods that help you win the game and uh, don't be a wallflower because that is seen as weakness and weakness gets attacked and so can you spot my error I just grabbed a bunch of plates and I didn't plate up so I'm not at full plating capability and I'm running along this ridge line like a silhouette and uh, somebody Your spots me I know they're close to me but I can't find them and I get tagged for it really hard. So without the ability to quickly slip and slide, I must, you know, duck and cover. And they're above me now, so I've lost high ground. So I'm going to work my way around, reclaim my high ground, because, uh, well, they didn't follow me down the hill. So if I broke somebody's plate like that, I would have followed them all the way down. So they didn't, so that's a good thing for me. So now I can turn the tables. And I'm going to turn the tables by, well, of course, I'm all plated up, and I'm going to use my AK-47 with the extended mag. And uh, 
We are going to confront this with a hailstorm of AK-47 goodness. And uh, this is why you put the recoil mod on the AK-47. And uh, actually, he engages me with an AK-47. And uh, he also has pumped, but he misfired. Okay, okay, let's take a look in this gold box. He has six plates. He has nothing but gold mods, and he has two custom weapons. Therefore, he's supposed to be a quote-unquote skilled player. Don't pay attention to that, because more often than not, these people are using these mods as a crutch, and they're the first to get them, and they use them as a crutch. And the reason I know this is, when he engaged me, he did not shoot at me, he instead engaged Pump as a crutch. So don't let the fact that these able-bodied people can run out and get all these mods because because they need them to perform at the level they're performing at. You know, just using stealth to your advantage, you can grind your way up and collect the plates that you need, the, the, the mods that you need from the skilled players just by being an agent of chaos and stealth. Uh, so I'm all about uh, stealth in the game. And so right now, I'm getting ready to sneak up on a trap player who's driving up on me right now with the rewind class. And uh, notice how I switch to my SMG. The CBR is just a slayer. And uh, he would have had probably something similar. I just got him first. Always take advantage of a third party situation and always shoot the weakest one first, followed by the more dominant player. Now see, he's standing flat-footed with me. That was a mistake, because his armor's already broke. And if I had to choose one weapon to run through the whole game, it would be the AK-47, because it's great on the long game and lethal up close. So by strategically holding this high ground position just above the zone, uh, I have just a ton of boxes to sort through here, all gold with gold mods in them. Uh, I took down some really good players here, and uh, now I'm set for in-game. And notice, notice how I hold on to high ground for as long as possible, because high ground is always best. Uh, you can just look down on people so much easier and your engagement is uh, usually at much further distance which is a distance I like to keep my enemies at right about there that's my that's my killing zone is right about that distance uh, did you see that little slide I did a slide yes and right there at distance perfect distance for the AK matter of fact uh, I can't express enough my love for the AK-47 in Call of Duty Mobile. Uh, it's a must-play weapon. Uh, let's see where this has taken us. This sleigh ride is uh, 13 kills long, and uh, it took us from the state up around close to uh, the new military research facility. And uh, that concludes it. Uh, I'm Red Star YT. Thank you for watching my video. And uh, please uh, join my channel.